Hey guys, it's Tracy. I am sharing another Dollar Tree project with you. Now, um, this is not my idea. I did see it on Pinterest as well as here on YouTube. I will have a link in the description below because I want to give credit where credit is due. But this is so super cute and it looks great in my farmhouse decor. Okay, to start the project, um, I'm using two tea light candle holders that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. And then the stands are from the Target Dollar Spot. I think they're little cupcake stands. Uh, I'm not really sure, but I just like the look of it. And I didn't want to have to spray paint um, anything, but you could use other little candle sticks as well. The birds I got from Hobby Lobby, and these were part of the spring collection. But, you know, you can get little birds anywhere. I'm also using some little flowers from the Dollar Tree as well as this burlap with the lace ribbon for my bow. Um, in addition, I have some Spanish moss because that is going to go inside my birdhouse and as well as the top to make the little nest. I'm using a new product to me. This is called Rapid Fuse. It's by DAP. Um, I got it off of Amazon. I will have a link in the description below if you would like to check it out as well. It's an all purpose um, glue kind of, you know, rapidly sets, uh, fast setting. It's very tough. You can use this on wood and plastic, rubber, ceramics, and more. So I do not care for E6000 glue. It gets messy and I can't squeeze it out of the tube, so I just get frustrated. Anyway, so I'm using this Rapid Fuse for the first time, um, and I'm anxious to see how it's going to set up this project. It does kind of set after up after about a minute, um, but I'm very mindful of that. So I am just very careful because I don't want to, you know, like knock it off and that kind of thing. But now I'm going to put some hot glue on the inside and then I'm going to put some Spanish moss. Uh, you can't have a bird house without some Spanish moss. This just really makes it very rustic and very woodsy and just so cute for these little birds. I used uh, more of the Rapid Fuse all-purpose adhesive um, for the top of my little birdhouse. I'm going to uh, make sure, I want to make sure that my bird stays. I'm not going to be taking this apart, so I just want to make sure everything stays because I like to use things in different areas and I like them to last, you know? So um, I, I'm just putting a little bit of glue on the bottom of that little bird as well. And let me tell you, after a few seconds, this glue does attach, it does adhere. And so it, it does say what uh, it says on the back of the bottle. So um, if there's any updates, I will definitely let y'all know that. So what I'm gonna do now is add some little flowers on the inside of the you know, little birdhouse or the, the little, uh, I guess for the little, yeah, the little birdhouse. And so, you know, you can add as many or as few as you would like. These little white flowers with the little greenery is, are just perfect for this. It almost looks like little boxwood. Um, so I didn't need any additional greenery. I just used several of those stems, just hot glued those inside, um, you know, just attaching it to that little moss. To add additional touch to my little bird houses, I'm just using this burlap with lace trim from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just cutting that to go around the bottom of the bird house. And those little stands are from the Target Dollar Spot. They're perfect, they're the perfect color. I didn't have to paint them. And, um, 
you know, I'm a girl of convenience and I don't like to do a lot of spray painting and stuff like that. So these little stands are perfect. So I just tied some ribbon around the bottom of the birdhouse and then I dovetailed and used my lighter to singe the ends of that burlap. So it doesn't fray. It doesn't fray too much, but you have those little scraggly ends. So anyway, I just love how these turned out. And um, I will have a link in the description below for the inspiration where I saw this. And uh, I appreciate you all for watching. If you would, if you make these, please share them over in my Country Charm community over on Facebook. I will have a link here in the video as well as the description below. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll talk to you soon. God bless.